Welcome to my channel, The Viper's Pit. I'm your host, The Pit Viper 327. And today we're doing something that's basically non-toys. It's actually going to be involved jewelry and how to make earrings. And actually, I've been doing this for quite some time now because the uh, first time I ever did this was actually helping out my girlfriend with how to make certain little earrings. But it's actually, this is something quick, easy, and simple. What you can do right here is you can pick up some of these little guys over at either a hobby store or a jewelry store, a craft store. Most likely, like here in the United States, we actually have Hobby Lobby. We got Joanne Fabrics as well as Michaels. So those are the places that you can probably check out too so that you can find out for sure, you know, what kind of stuff you want to actually make for people. And of course, this is a request and it's a shout out to uh, actually Nerd Cave Toy and Comics, which is out there in uh, Instagram land and also on uh, YouTube as well. So I just wanted to give, give a shout out to him and let him know that I received a request on making this video on how to make some jewelry. So let's begin. First off, what you're going to be needing are actually some needle nose pliers. And, uh, of course, you may need one of these guys so that you can actually cut through uh, the material here because it's usually made out of little bits of uh, wire. So, you know, it makes it easier when you cut them up like so. Then you can pop these guys out. So, as you can see, we got the little owl right here. And he actually has, like, a little ring on top. You can actually have a choice of using uh, certain types of uh, earring hooks. Like this one right here. This... This hook right here happens to be a 21 millimeter earring hook. Um, you can either do one of two things. You can actually have the ring that exists and then just hook it together like so. Or you can remove this ring and then of course have it facing. So they could either, if it's facing this way, then of course it's like on the side. So what you want to do here is you take your pliers like so. And then you look for the little notch that's inside here that keeps it together. And then you get another needle nose. What I do is I just twist it off completely. But good thing about it is always save the little guys here because you never know when you're going to need them. Especially for something else. And then of course I grab the other one. I do the same thing to it. Like that. And then... You just grab the other side, hold it very well, you know, you know, sometimes you might make a mistake, but it's okay, but just make sure that you don't damage the actual charm that you have right here. But luckily I was just on the ring itself. And now what you do is you grab the fish hook, like right here, and you grab it on, I would say, on the right side. Make sure you bend it slightly which you can't very see too well, but as you see, I, there is a little bend there. And then what you want to make sure is you have the, face, the hook facing this way. And then, of course, you slide your charm like so. And then from then on, you make sure that you grab it on. Make sure if you happen to have like other little accessory pieces hanging from the actual piece um, on the wire hook. And as you see, you just have to do it gently with these. It's usually pretty easy because this is actually a little bit softer metal. And I just do it again one more time with the other earring. And then I bend it like so. If you make a mistake on the bend, it's okay. You can actually try to straighten it up as best as possible, but don't press down too hard with the needle nose pliers. It does take a little practice so you can always buy yourself a pack of these needle nose. Um, I mean, not excuse me, not the needle nose, but the actual uh, fish hooks earrings here, and they're actually pretty cheap. They come in packs like either like ten, twenty, thirty. It depends really, but they're pretty cheap to get. And make sure that's actually straight, as you can see right here, it's hanging, and. Also, to make it nice and neat, it's optional, but you can actually use these little guys right here, which are the little backings. So that way, whoever you give these to, they'll actually hold on to their ears in place with the backings like so. As 
you can tell. These actually, I've only seen these only at one place, and that was actually over at Hobby Lobby on these backings. But, um, you know, just check out the other local areas of your retailers and find out. You can also try it also online, too, to see if you can pick them up. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do another pair. And let's just go ahead and cut these guys open like so. I'll do these little red guys. All right. What I like to do is I'm going to go ahead and pull off this little guy here again. Just got to look for that little notch. Hold it together. Okay, like so. Sometimes you can do it with your one hand, but sometimes it's you know, it's okay to do it with actually using it with the other pair of pliers. It makes it a lot easier because sometimes these little rings can be a little tough. So here we go again. Look for the little notch. And grab your other pliers. Hold still. Twist. And then pull out your charm. And then you grab these little fish hook earrings. And then, as you can see, these are actually kind of like nickel plated, so then that way they're pretty reasonable, and then they won't actually, they actually are hypoallergenic too, so that's the important thing you want to make sure, so make sure that they're nickel free, excuse me if I say nickel plated, but this is where I got mine from Hobby Lobby, and actually this jewelry shop is actually the maker of these guys, and of course, you can't see it too well, it says one inch on one side, 21 millimeter short fish hook ear wire. So that's what these are, the ear wires right here. Okay. We get our fish hook and we gently bend the front piece like so and twist a little. Just do it lightly and then make sure that we got it facing this way. And then we get our pliers and just bend it, you know, just center it a little bit when you get close to it so then that way it locks in place. And that's how it goes. Okay, alrighty. And after that, we work on the other one. Take it number two, grab another ear wire. Okay, just gently bend. Okay, and then put in the little charm. And then we just bend it back like so. Center it a little. And add on the backings. Like I said, the backings are optional. Okay, then I'll do the last set that I got right here should do okay so we got two of these little guys ready and then get ready for the third set and then get my little wire cutters and it makes it a lot easier to snap these guys off instead of just twisting the band on the back because usually most of the time they might have them taped on so as you see it just came right off so don't have to worry about that and once again, we find the ring, like so, but like the other thing is, what you can do is you can leave the ring on if you want to, it's an option, and then just apply the uh, fish wire on top like so. You know, just dangle it a little differently, but I kind of like taking it off. That's just my personal preference. You know, it makes it easy, but, but when you start doing this for a little while, I like to hold on to these rings because you never know when you're going to need them for another project, like making a different earring or if there's something wrong with the hole that you might want to run it through and get that work on. Okay, there we go. Just had a slight earring malfunction, but I got it going now. It's just like it kind of got stuck to the needle nose pliers and then it just twist. Again, like so, and then out it goes. 
And then now when we work on the blue guys here, get your ear wire and then you twist it a little bit. And then put the charm right through. As you can see how it fits real good. If it didn't fit real good through, then I would probably suggest using one of the other rings that was with it so then that way you won't have any issues. And then straighten it up a little bit. You can see we got the little blue guy ready on. Ah, that's actually pretty, very pretty. And then now, we can go take care of the other guy. Last one. Okay, and then we put it through like so. Gently twist it and center it. And then last thing, like I said, it's optional. Put in the little backings. And it doesn't take that long to do. As you can see, I did three sets of earrings in a matter of a few minutes. And once again, I like to say it. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Make sure to like this video and also ring that notification bell so then you can see what my videos are up to these days. <laughs> and as well as please subscribe to the channel. Thank you once again and have a good night. This is the Pit Viper signing off.